Thanks very much for inviting me here. I hope you won't regret it. <laughs> Not much of a CV in giving sensible career advice. I was a smuggler for a long time. I'm no longer a smuggler. I'm a writer and I campaign sometimes for the legalization of cannabis. I've been told I mustn't do that. <laughs> So I want. <laughs> no campaign for the legalization of any other drug. <laughs> Not either. But I'd like you to imagine, if possible, a world where for some reason or other, whether we dread it, welcome it, for some reason or other, cannabis, LSD, and cocaine are legal. Just imagine it's happened. Now, the first problem that it presents for marketing is that suddenly... <laughs> Suddenly, one's presented with essentially a new product as far as retailing is concerned. <laughs> Legal retailing is concerned. A new product with which virtually everyone is familiar. <laughs> it's already got its own rituals. It's already got its own heroes. It's already got its proponents, its advocators. Now, usually, marketing a new product doesn't, isn't saddled with that sort of burden. It's a new product, you can think of a new way. I mean, I've often been described as you know, a very, very successful entrepreneur because of my drug dealing and smuggling. But, <laughs> see, the thing is, that's, that's merely, the demand was never met, okay? So all I ever did was cater for a demand, I never created one. So I think we can carry that bit on to this scenario, but then I've got to be careful. So looking at cannabis first, what are we trying to get across? Obviously, We can rope in the Green Party right away, right? I mean, that's fine. We can get them. And something homely, something comfortable, something relaxing, lots of peace. <laughs> Never forget the hippie ideas. But what can we call it? What's a good brand name for cannabis? I heard someone say 4.20 then. Yeah, I mean, that's the time, 4.20 p.m., that traditionally people smoke their first joint, but it's too late for most of us. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Buddha would be all right. It sort of brings in the sort of Eastern philosophy bit. It sort of plays a bit with the word karma and everything like that. So I think that's a satisfactory one. How about advertising it, packaging it? <laughs> that would be all right like that, you know, just put the buds in there. May as well give some food for thought as well, because, you know, smoking is a pretty bad PR these days. And cigarettes, you know, if they're still around, may as well make them out of cannabis safer. <laughs> and advertise it just, just in a magazine like that, or if you really want to get hardcore, something like that, you know, just roadside stuff. <laughs> so pretty easy so far, right? 
but cocaine is a bit more of a problem. <laughs> Not quite the same. It's got to be the high life, obviously, BMWs, glitz, glamour, all that sort of thing, <laughs> everything like that. You know. Got to have all that going. What should we call it? 421? <laughs> <laughs> the obvious would be toot. Yes. <laughs> I think so, toot. Live the high life. Packaging, well, that's fairly easy. It's kind of all out there anyway. <laughs> that would work, I think. Would advertise it right away. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, take the big step onto the, the billboard. LSD. That's a hard one, isn't it? Um, so I think very important to change the thing. It's not living the high life. It's not trying to get relaxed. It's not that it's something else. What can we think of? I think all those things, inspiration, travel, tripping, all that kind of thing, carbon-free travel, you know. Even those <laughs> Brand name, I think it's just stick with trips, but stick a Z on you. Know, <laughs> but see, selling it, I mean, I think this is an area where the blister pack can come to its own. It's a good idea if it's sold in chemists and everything, get a slightly medical vibe going on it, I think. So, package it. <laughs> Something like that, you know. Yeah, first of all, six in the box. <laughs> Gotta take a day off a week. <laughs> Advertise, quite simply. <laughs> and of course, go for the big one there. So I think, I don't know if it's a world, as I say, we don't particularly, and I'm forbidden from <laughs> welcoming it. It's probably a world we dread, but I think it'll make marketing a lot more interesting. <laughs> okay, and with that, I'm going to stop, otherwise I'll get to <laughs> Thank you very much. Shh. Mm -hmm.